Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007, and today we're looking at the Luck Perms plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to give permissions to players, create different groups, and there is a really awesome web editor as well to make it a lot easier. So let's just jump into it. First of all, we are going to do the for slash lp help command. This is going to show us all of the commands. There's quite a few of them, but we are going to run through the most important ones in this video. So first of all, we're going to look at all of the groups by doing for slash lp list groups. And as you can see, by default, there is only one called default. And if we click on it, it shows a bit more information, but everything is set to none or just default. So if we want to create some more groups, we can do for slash lp create group and then call it something. For this tutorial, we're going to create two. We're going to call one player. And then we are going to repeat the command and create a mod group. Mod is going to be the top and default is going to be the bottom one. Now, if we want to jazz it up a little, we can add either prefixes or suffixes or both by doing for slash LP group default meta set prefix or even add prefix. And then we can use color codes, format codes to make a nice looking thing for chat. So if we use and seven, that's gray, surround it in brackets and do and E, which is yellow. This is gonna look pretty nice, and as you can see, it shows in chat, and I like the look of that. Let's go ahead and repeat this for player and mod. Let's do player a nice green color. And finally, we are going to do mod a nice blue color. And there we go, that looks fantastic. So now that we've done that, we can look at the different inheritance levels to make sure all of the permission default has, player and mod also get. So we need to set parents. So if we do for slash LP group player, then parent and then set. We need to set the parent of player to default. What this is gonna do is give all of the permissions that default has automatically to player. As you can see, it has been cleared, so you can either add a parent or set a parent. And we need to do the same for mods. So everything that player has, we want to give to the mods. So in that case, do mod parent set and then player, and that's gonna give all of player's permissions to the mod. So if we do for slash LP group default and then permission followed by set, we can add permissions to this group. So it gives you a list of all the plugins you have on your server. Let's use essentials because that's easy. Put a full stop and then it's gonna list all of the permissions associated with this plugin. So let's choose some random ones. Let's do maybe TPA all and we can add a couple more for this uh, different group. So let's do TP accept as well and maybe TP all as well. So we can test this a bit later on to make sure it works. And once we've done this, we can change the group. So let's change it to player. And remember, player is gonna get all of default uh, ones as well. Let's give them the essentials.home command, and that's going to be for player. And then finally, we can give them maybe essentials.kit as well. That's pretty handy. And we can set some for mod as well. So finally, we're going to give mod one or two permissions. So LP group mod permission set. We're going to choose essentials and let's give them essentials.broadcast. Once we've done this, if we do for slash LP list groups, again, you can see there are now three groups. You can see we've set the prefixes and they look very nice. So next, if we do for slash LP editor, that is going to give us a link. And if we click it, it's going to take us to the online editor. So here we are on the Luck Perms web editor. And as you can see, it looks really nice. It's really easy to use and let's just jump into it. So up at the top left, we've got the group section and this will list all of the groups that you've created. As you can see, we've just made these three. And then if we click down on users, that's gonna show all of your users and their face on the left. But if we look at the default group, first of all, we are going to see all of the permissions that we gave them. We will see the prefix which we created and then we can even add more permissions. So just click down here and then we can scroll down and just give whatever permissions you want. So let's just do help for example. And then do you want it to expire? Yes or no? And you can set a date and then you can just click the plus sign and that's going to add it there, simple as that. If you wanted to look at the mod, you can see this one has group.player which means it inherits the permissions from player. And if we look at player, we will see group.default, so it inherits permissions from default. You can add parent groups here as well, so if we made another group, we could add it there too. And then if we look at users, we can see I am currently in group default. I can get rid of that and put myself in group mod instead. And then what we can do is click save, and that will give us a new link. And we are going to copy this and paste it in game and see the changes. 
So if we go ahead and paste it in game, we will see in chat, it's going to indicate all of the changes. And as you can see, there was a change to user LT Gym myself. And if I type in chat, it's going to indicate I am now in the mod group instead of default. If I go ahead and deop myself, we can test some of the commands that I gave myself. So we're allowed to do the help command. We're not allowed to do TPA, but we are allowed to do TPA here. And that is a general overview of how this plugin works. It's very awesome and I'd highly recommend it for your server. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.15. If we scroll down, there is a wiki with a ton of documentation on. If you need any help, there is a Discord or you can open a ticket on GitHub. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.